And here's a look at the project I'll be doing for today. Today I'll be upgrading this old dresser. And I wanted to give it a glam look. As you can see, it's missing most of the hardware. There's only two pieces left, but I did purchase new hardware. I'm going to be painting it metallic silver. And this is the paint that I'll be using. It's by Rust-Oleum. Here's a look at the hardware that I'll be using. I did get it from Amazon. And I think I got 10 pieces for about $25. Now, as you can see, the piece is pretty low. I'm only five, one and a half. And you can see where the dresser is hitting me. So what I purchased was some legs once again from Amazon and they're about four inch four and a half inches high I will be adding that to give it a little bit more height now for the top of the dresser I want to do an epoxy so I purchased this epoxy kit from Amazon and it was less than $20 I will leave a link to everything I'm using in the description box below here I have my crushed glass. I'll be using that, and that was from Amazon. And I wanna say it was about 12 to $14. I have uh, different glitters here. I have a resin glitter. It's kinda chunky and it's very sparkly. I have my uh, confetti glitter. Love this stuff, I'm almost out. And then I have uh, a fine glitter and then a heavier glitter. Now I'll be mixing this into my epoxy. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna get started by taking the two pieces of hardware off and washing down the furniture. Now the one good thing about this piece is I don't have to sand and I don't have to prime. That has already been done. All I have to do is just make sure that I clean it up really, really good and it'll be ready for paint. Now that my dresser has been washed and rinsed, I'm taking off the old hardware and I'm going to fill the holes where the old hardware was so that it will be ready to receive my new hardware. Now that my holes are filled, I flip my dresser upside down so that I can attach a piece of wood on the back. This wood would be the support for the legs I intend to add. So I just wanna place this piece of wood on the back, mark it first, so I'll know how much I need to cut and cut it to fit. I went looking for the saw. It's not in the garage, so guess what? I have to cut it by hand. But that's okay, I'll use my miter box and I'll do my cut. I have my wood cut. So we're going to move right on and go to our paint. This is the paint we'll be using. Once again, it's Rust-Oleum Metallic Accent Paint in Silver. Um, and I'll be using a sponge roller to apply my paint. I have added my paint to the tray and I've lined it with foil. And we're just ready to roll it on. FYI for you guys, 
Every time that you see me doing a piece of furniture, I'm saving a piece from the landfill. Also, all of these pieces are vintage pieces. These pieces are well made by furniture companies that was in business a long time ago. These pieces are from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And we're restoring them and making them beautiful again. The first coat of paint has dried on my furniture. I also took a 220 grit sandpaper, sanded it back, wiped it down, and now I'm ready for my second coat of paint. Now it's time to mix my epoxy. I'm mixing equal parts. So I'm using my gloves, you should wear gloves. I'm mixing my epoxy, I'm pouring one cup or two cups of each into a larger container and stirring it for five minutes. Now each epoxy is different so you should follow directions on the packaging. Before I pour my resin on my dresser, I want to go around my table and tape. I want to make sure that the tape is as smooth and as tight as possible. And this will ensure that the resin doesn't drip out and over the sides. Now that I poured my resin on the table, I use my stick to spread it out. Then I want to use my stick and go around each of the corners and sides to make sure that there is resin. Now, resin is self-leveling and it would level itself out. I'm just helping it along by adding resin around the edges and the corner. Okay, now that I have my resin added, I have also added my confetti glitter, my chunky glitter, as well as the fine glitter and also a small amount of the crushed glass. As you can see, it has not quite leveled out yet, but we're gonna let it sit overnight, come back tomorrow, and make sure that it has leveled out nicely. I will be going back and checking it, and if I have to, moving it about just a little bit to help with the leveling process. As you can see, it's been 24 hours and my resin has dried. It has leveled out and looks pretty good. But there are a couple of rough spots. Now I did add crushed glass and there wasn't quite enough resin to cover the top of the crushed glass. So I'll have to add more. But so far it is simply stunning. Now I'm ready to add my drawer pulls. I decided to add them in the center. This means I'd only have to make one measurement. So here you see me marking the center of the groove, and then I'll measure and add my handle marks for my handles on either side of the center mark. And here's a quick peek of how my handles look. 
absolutely beautiful. Since my resin has dried and I'm ordered more and I'm waiting on it, I turn my dresser back upside down. I put the piece of wood in and I screwed it with some countersink nails on the outside. I use the drill bit the size of the screw to drill pilot holes through the wood before I screw in the screws. It's important to add those pilot holes before screwing the screws in so that you don't run the risk of splitting your wood. Now because my drawers are in such rough condition on the inside, I did sand them and condition the wood. I also purchased this roll of contact paper to line the drawers. Now I will do all of this off camera to save time. So I added my second coat of resin and it has dried. This time is very smooth, but my edges are a little jagged. So I'm going to take a 240 grit sandpaper and I am going to sand my edges back just to give it or to make it smooth. I'm using my hands to rub across the edges to make sure that they're smooth as I sand. I'll use a damp cloth to make sure that I wipe all the debris away. Now I just want to take my paint and retouch all of the edges. And I'll do two coats. I'll let the first coat dry and then I'll do a second coat. And this is just to ensure that I have good coverage. Now I'm ready for my top coat. I'll be using Wipe On Poly by Minwax. I'm using a lint-free cloth to wipe on the polyurethane. I'm going to continue adding my wipe on top coat. I will let this one dry for two hours and then I'll add a second coat, lightly sanding in between, and I'll be back with the reveal. And here is my glam dresser complete. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful.
And here's a closer look at the top. I'm running my hand across and it is smooth as glass. Now there is one section on the top right here where the resin didn't quite level out, but I'll touch that up later. And here's a quick peep at the lining and the drawers. I did do that off camera. Once again, I truly love this piece. And if you guys are out there watching and you're not part of the Creative Decor family, now is the time to do so. You want to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the notification bell so you'll be aware of all my upcoming videos. Make sure you share this with your friends and family. I want to say thank you all for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.